Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you through how to check database tables and columns and recent actions by our development team in an application. So let's get started into our agenda. Once you log into your application, then you will be able to see some options under configure system database. See here, there is some schema tools, query inspector and query runner. So this is the place where you can see what is the database uh, you want to see and what are the table names uh, available in our application and what are the columns associated with a respective table. I am pausing it so that you would be remembering the path of schema tool. Okay. Now if I click schema tools see there is no database things and no query inspector query runner so for this we need some privileges to view it that one pega has given uh, in this link clearly like for which table which privilege is required to see this schema tools wizard and other wizard so for that purpose what i did is i have created a separate access role named as database administrator in this access role i have added all the privileges these are like basic privileges that are required to see our schema tools and uh, query runner and our query inspector so kindly remember these privileges it is very important for us uh, to use the uh, tool given by pega if in your application you are unable to see any options under configure system and database you should be checking whether these privileges are present or not present so after creating this access group, I went to my operator. Under my access group, I'm adding this access role. See database administrator is our new access role. Now I'm logging off and logging in again. Now I'm going to configure system database schema tools. See, now you can see the database associated with our application. If you click here, this is a database. Under database, we might be having a tables or views. So, for example, I am opening this table. This p underscore address is a table. You can see table name over here. Click on this and click on this columns. You can see the data type of the respective column and length. If you want to edit the length, you can do it here. And if you scroll down, you can see all the columns that are associated with the respective table. If there are any indexes associated with the table, then also you can check this. See, some index is present for this. What is this index and uh, what is declare index and how we can create in Pega? That I would be taking you through in next month. So these are all the tables that are present. This query inspector and if you want to execute your queries, you can go to query runner and you can run the queries over here. For this also, a few privileges are required. You please go through this uh, link. I will uh, describe this uh, link in our video description. Please uh, log into your Pega PDN documentation and uh, view this so that it would be useful. Okay, this is our agenda one. And next, uh, yeah, how to see uh, recent development or recent rules accessed by dev people? Go to application. Here, if you go to development, you can see a tab here recent action, checked out rules, weekly rule updates, and developer activity rules. All right. So, if some developer has deleted your rule, you are not sure like who has deleted. If you want to catch that cat, you can go here under development recent actions you can click these these are the recent rules that are accessed by a developer if you click on this view deleted rules you can cast the cat who has deleted that and who has deleted which rule and uh, if you want to see what are the checked out rules you can go here and see and this developer activity it's like uh, what is the weekly count of a respective developer on respective date. This weekly report. Hope you have gained some knowledge in this short video. Thanks for watching my video. Bye bye.